Rick Wiles is one of these televangelists who loves to fear monger about the end times. And lately, he's been fear mongering about meatless burgers. Take a look. When you go to your favorite fast food restaurant, you're gonna be eating a fake hamburger. You're gonna to go to the grocery store and buy a pound of fake hamburger or a fake steak, and you won't know that it was grown in some big corporation's laboratory. This is the nightmare world that they're taking us into. They're changing God's creation. Why? Because they wanna be God. They wanna do exactly what Lucifer did before the flood. It's why God destroyed it. He said he regretted that he ever made mankind because they were destroying his creation. The Bible says God is coming back to destroy those who are destroying the earth. So God is an environmentalist. He takes this very seriously. He created this planet. He created the universe. And he's watching these Luciferians destroy his planet, destroy the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom. John Fugel saying, are you a Luciferian? Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. Are you eating these meatless burgers? AKA demonic burgers. Um, well, no, because I'm I'm doing keto now. But I have tried the Impossible <laughs> Burger, and it is as good a fake burger as this guy is a revoltingly fake Christian. Now, um, I like that he mentioned the flood because let's never forget God once decided to drown every pregnant woman and fetus on the same day because he felt like it. God's the least pro-life character in the book, but that's another debate. Uh, oh, this is point. a uh, fascinating thing to do. You, you see, you. It's tough to be a right-wing evangelical fake Christian preacher because um, the Mueller report is a lot like the teachings of Christ. If you read it, you can never support Donald Trump again. And when you are this revoltingly fake, and again, there is, ask your Christian right-wing friends, name one teaching of Christ, Trump or Pence campaigned on or have fought for legislatively. There are none, Jesus wasn't against abortion, so you gotta come up with content. And when you are a righteous American who likes the old time way of living, like uh, factory farm beef clogging up your colon, this is obviously a great threat. This guy's job is to scare old, terrified white people who just learned how the internet worked, and I glad He's here for our entertainment, but um, again, this is why right-wing Christianity is an atheism factory. And it's like, I always say, Trump's not the antichrist, but Christ is the anti-Trump. Mm -hmm. And if these guys ever actually followed the quite liberal teachings of Jesus, we'd have single-payer health care tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, if, if Jesus came back to earth, they'd deport him. Oh, well, if it, please, yeah. if he came back, brown-skinned guy who can't speak English, no papers, right off to Juarez. Immediately, <laughs> yeah. but you know his job is not to talk about the teachings of Christ. They're inconveniently liberal, and like most fundamentalist Christians, including Mike Pence, their Bible is the golden calf, skip straight to Revelation, and then duct tape to a few left behind books. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we're seeing here, and it's just this same kind of revoltingly fake Christianity that is designed to get satanic people jobs to cut their own taxes. So I, I had a couple parts that I just absolutely loved there. He's like, this is exactly what Lucifer was doing before the flood. <laughs> really? <laughs> Lucifer had come up with vegan burgers before the flood? Oh, they're <laughs> sinfully <laughs> delicious. I missed have, that part of the Bible. Have you all tried the Impossible Burger? <laughs> I have. It's uncanny. Yeah. It's really good. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Well, you said it's good? Yeah, I tried what it and I liked you? it. And look, yes. I, and no one, I, I think that this is one thing the left wing and the right wing can agree on. I, uh, I eat a lot. Uh, steaks, burgers, bacon, <laughs> I, I like meat. So, but I tried the Impossible Burger, it was delicious. Uh, but that's obviously because I'm a Luciferian. Uh, <laughs> and, and so then I liked how he said, uh, God is an environmentalist. Well, that's good to note, you should tell Trump, that would be uh, wonderful to hear. But he said, uh, he, he doesn't want uh, people to destroy the animal kingdom. I know. Uh, well, if you're making a case against vegan burgers, you, would then agree that, hey, that's saving the animal kingdom, not destroying it. But they, it's, there's some chance he missed logic. Can in, I actually, in bring it, it's actually stupider than that, yeah. if, if you can handle this, because he's talking about uh, you know animals and eating more cows, and cows cause more damage uh, in terms of global warming than cars. Uh, the way we slaughter cows, the way we farm cows, mm -hmm. it causes as much damage as cars. And the ultimate irony of these people is, you don't get to tell me that you reject climate science, but you care about the unborn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so look, uh, 
I, I do uh, want to ask the Impossible Burger people how they are going to make us soulless, though. And apparently, uh, if you eat vegetarian food, it changes your DNA and uh, and it creates soulless people. That I'm, I'm super curious about, so call me impossible. We right? don't have a shortage okay. of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay, God, they're so unbelievably stupid. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.